Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video I'm showing how to set out of office response in Gmail. So I just want to log into my um, email account, uh, which is a Google account right now. And I'm going to set one um, out of if office email notification so that the people or the email centers will be automatically receiving one email that if I'm not in the office, I'm not available. So after you open the uh, email in your browser, for example, um, gmail.com or mail.google.com, you log into your email, you will get a console like this, as you know. Um, then what you need to do, click on the settings option, which you see on the top right side. Click on the settings option and you can see all settings, see all settings. So click on the see all settings option. So you will get a window like this. There we have a lot of lot of options while becoming uh, discussing in coming videos, um, each and everything which is very important. So uh, today, as we as we informed, I will be discussing about the vacation responder or out of office messages. So when you uh, are in the general in default, just scroll down below, and at the end you will see vacation responder. So here we are going to do the changes. So what is it basically doing? Vacation responders sent an automated reply to incoming messages if a contact sent you several messages. This automated reply will be sent at most once every four days. So uh, within four days, if someone is sending a message, um, it will be sending an automatic response, automatic reply to the incoming messages if any contact sent you uh, several messages. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna change. Um, I'm gonna change enable it. Vacation responder on. So you can choose a start date. For example, um, today, 9th March. And last day, it's optional. You don't want to put it. You can make it uh, indefinitely long. But for example, you are sure that you will be back to office by March 16 or for example March 20. It's a 10 days vacation. So you're gonna choose March 20 and subject. You can give. Um, for example out of office okay out of office or you can uh, put on vacation or something not in the office they usually uh, what I have noticed is the out of office is the default um, so we're gonna keep that out of office here and a small message for testing I don't want to use a complex message um, I'm just gonna keep um, simple I'll be out of office till um, 20th February sorry 20th March whatever content you want you can put a long description here um, for example include your colleagues emails support emails or alternate contact person or even if there is any number you want to put there um, some important centers or if you don't want to miss the communication so you can put your mobile number or even um, your colleagues email mobile numbers alternate contacts everything so you know that um, what does it basically mean so this email will be sending them this will be the subject this will be the email and you can see here one option is here only send a response to people in my contact so basically what this is doing if the person who is sending the email is in your contact list so in that case they will be receiving this email but whoever not in your um, contacts list there is a there is um, there is a lot of chance that you will be receiving emails from unknown emails or emails which is out of your contacts so I don't recommend people to check this option but if there is a requirement like you want to uh, send the vacation responder only to the people only to the people in your contacts you can choose this option but I'm gonna keep I'm gonna leave this one uh, and I will save, save the changes all right um, out of office so you can see here automatically one pop-up notification is come here because we have set the um, vacation settings on so just outlook is um, sorry uh, gmail is informing us that you have already um, set the vacation responder uh, this is good if you if you already back into office and you forget to uh, set it back to the normal you can just click on vacation settings and I'll just remove it so that's not our case any, anyway so um, already we set the vacation responder on we have set the out of his email we're gonna try that one let me open the outlook I will be sending the email from the same same um, email but I just want to show you that it will work 
all right click, click now in your mail i'm gonna put open shamir at gmail.com just send hi that's fine i need to put complex emails i'm gonna send the email the message is being sent you know, sending and receiving um i'm sorry i haven't i haven't received. okay what i'm gonna do i will send an email from um another another email for example let me use my one of the email that i own uh, let me check it out because i'm not sure it will it will send the email let me open another email sorry i just paused my video because i don't i want to log into another email account so here i'm going to send email to the this particular i just want to test that if it is working maybe because i have sent from the same email to the um, uh, same email uh, maybe that is a problem i didn't receive the vacation responder um just let's put test on test click on send let's see let's message is sent already just need to refresh that uh, inbox and we want to make sure that we are receiving the vacation responder okay no, that's it cool we received one uh, email from the uh, that sender dear sender i'll be out, out of office till 20th march 2021 we have put in the um, out of office settings or vacation responder and same time i received the email from um, the the email that i have sent from this particular email account uh, thank you for watching guys. I believe this video are really helpful to you. Thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification Take care. Goodbye